Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. So today we have Perry and we are going to be doing a blonde retouch and extension move up. So it has been 10 weeks since she has come in and she desperately needs to be brightened up a little bit and to move these extensions up because look at how grown out they are. But for 10 weeks this looks pretty good and she took really good care of them so I'm very happy about that. This is what her hair looks like without them and now we are going to be mixing up her lightener. So I did about a scoop and a half of Redken Flash Lift, mix that with 20 volume um, because her roots are pretty dark so she needs that lift. Into this I'm adding Uberless which is a bond regenerator. This is going to keep her hair nice and healthy and I'm also adding in Guy Tang Collagen Powder because the more protection the better, why not? We're doing a partial on her because, like I said, we are doing extensions and the extensions are going to cover most of her head and her roots aren't super grown out so we can kind of skip the full this time, especially because we are still dealing with a little bit of damage from previous stylists and she's also been cheering her entire life pretty much so it's been through a lot of stress and trauma with putting it up in a ton of ponytails, super tight and a lot of teasing so we try to give it a break when we can so with us doing extensions we can kind of skip fools more often. So usually when I get through half of the mohawk section, I like to actually work in front of them because I am 5'1", I'm pretty short, so this is just easier for me to do it this way, but I also feel like I have way more control over the money pieces and stuff like that instead if I was working behind her. So I just like to turn them around and face me, and then for her, I did three slices back to back for a popping money piece because she likes it really, really bright around her face. And this is what she looks like all foiled up. I love these Straymar foils. And while she's processing, I do like to go ahead and get all of my extension stuff ready just to stay organized, stay on top of stuff. But after we rinsed her out and everything, I applied the Uberless Bond Amplifier on all, all of her ends. This is, again, going to act as a barrier for when we do her root smudge and make sure that none of that dark gets on her blonde down here. So for a root smudge, I am using Goldwell Color On 6N, 7N, and 7NA. This is going to be a gorgeous color on her. A lot of you guys were also asking what these um, canisters were, and basically you use them with a special bowl or a bottle, and you press down, and the color comes through the can and through the bowl. So this is amazing. They're super satisfying. I love them, but they also have tubes, so I just get whatever the store has. It's the same exact thing. So I get asked all the time if I'm only touching the new highlights with the root smudge and yes I am. Only the fresh highlights are going to be touched because usually if I've done a full previously then they've already had one and there's no reason to go over a root smudge with another root smudge. So I'm only going to be touching the fresh highlights today. She's already pretty blonde, so I'm just going to go in with the Fanola Incredible Foam, and this is just going to tone out any extra warmth or anything that we don't want. I love this stuff so much, and I do have a discount with them. Use Sydney10 at Fanola.net for 10% off. You won't regret it. And after we wash her, I love to use Olaplex number six and seven. This together is literally a dream team to combat any frizz, for heat protection, all sorts of stuff. It even strengthens it. It's amazing. If you haven't used it, you need to. It's life-changing. So now we're going to be doing extensions on her. I am using the Jay-Z Styles extensions. If you've never watched any of her YouTube videos, you need to because they are life-changing and I've learned so much from her. But we are going to be using machine wefts today. Um, they are very customizable. You can cut them. They are a little bit thicker in the weft, so they're going to add a lot of volume, which we like for her because her hair is pretty fine and a little bit flat. So we like to have that added volume and I can cut them to fit her head shape. So they, these work perfect for us and we absolutely love them.
These machine whips also aren't any harder to install or to hide or anything. They're literally just the same. They just add a little bit of volume and of course thickness in the root area. So if you have any like worries about machine whips, don't because they're literally incredible. This is probably my favorite method of extensions because there's literally no right or wrong way to do them. They're so therapeutic to do as well, which is also super fun, but I love that they're so customizable for each and every client. I love to conform different methods that I've learned for everyone because everyone is different. So I would love to hear your method if you have a different one than kind of what I do because I love trying new things, but this is my one of my favorite services to do. I love doing extensions. So on Perry, we did two full rows like this one, and then we also did one half row kind of at the nape of her neck to blend some little broken hairs from where she pulls it up a lot, and it's in a lot of ponytails and has a little bit of breakage, but this is her after. The color is beautiful. It is so long. It's 22 inches. I love this hair so much. So let me know what you guys think. Be sure to comment, subscribe, like. Let me know what you guys want to see. Bye, y'all.